You really want me to do that again? This week? He gets such a kick out of this. He gets so attacked. You ready? Ready. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're really sad. I'm Robert Landsman. <laughs> and I'm Will Miller. So, our friend and yours, technology. It's come I, a long way. I love it. I really do. Uh, I, I, it's, I, I it's, do too. Especially for 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 dance music. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's actually the way to go. Like, it's incapable. You know, you really, I mean, yeah, you can't really, really make it without it. Right. But the one specific thing we want to talk about this week is having backups and redundancy, um, and not. You, you know how like you ever like be writing something right, and you, your computer crashes, and you just yeah. cannot get that back, yeah, right? That's and it. it will never ever be the same, no matter how many times you rewrite it. Or obviously, very applicable for singing. Right, because you, right? right, you can never remember exactly what you did. Oh that's my the god! Problem. So the, the reason I wanted you know to kind of impress upon you this week about the importance of things like this is because uh, it's not only applicable for technology; it's applicable for the human element as uh, well, right? Um, for example, let's just say something happens to the camera that we're filming on. Okay. Well, guess what? We have a second camera that's over we're there. Always th now, this isn't because I'm anal, which I am. This is because I've been scarred too many times by technology screwing something that I couldn't ever, ever do again correctly. Right? Well, what do you mean? Me meaning, mm -hmm. for example, you're giving me the take of your life. And can you imagine... Has it happened to you? Absolutely not. Have I ever lost one of your takes? Then no, no. I, I I know we've had difficulty where we've had, some time we've had we were on hiccups in between, but I have never ever said, "Oh crap, Billy, I, you know the, my machine crashed or blah." blah. Listen, it, it happens. Yeah, I thought I think I would. But think I would lose my mind. You would lose your mind, especially on um, "Be Near Me" because there are certain things yeah. at the end of that song physically. I could probably only do once, right? And maybe not ever be able to do it again at the second. That's this. this and who, second whose tape. job is that to protect that? Oh, mine, okay. right? That would kill me. So, a couple of quick advice, uh, you know, in this regard. Um, when you're going to be recording, obviously you're going to be at home. Remember, we're looking this way now. <laughs> I'm still looking at this camera. Yeah, it's easy. This camera doesn't work. Right, 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 right. right. That's, right. Right. That's, right. That's right. That's right. Point is. Right. You know, the technology fortunately has come a long way to really help at least get around some of those common things like hard drives going bad, right? You know, mirror drives, backing up, right? I'm, I'm kind of preaching to the choir, but if you aren't into technology a lot, there's ways to get your stuff off site, right? I, I learned this because, you know, back in the day when we actually did reel to reel, I mean, you would take the, physically take the stuff off site because of fire hazards, right? Or, or it's in a physical location or you take your copy off site. Now it's like, you know, a couple of mouse clicks and, and you, you, you drop it on a, on a Dropbox. But what did you actually do? So mm -hmm. when we would finish a take, a take you would yep. actually have the music on your, yeah. so, your, your hard drive. Yeah. So then, well, it, it actually, I'd never record to the drives on laptops or, or my main machines. I always, I have a RAID array, right? So basically, okay. it's basically a bunch of redundant disks so that any one of them goes bad, um, the other ones will take over okay. without getting into the, the technical depths, right? So no, now wait, now, now yeah. you are a, 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 a different being when it comes to backups. Yeah, so I, for I, someone at home who's tr who may not have this sort of Technology behind them. Sure. What exactly would they do? Because I mean, sure. You, uh, most people would more likely than not if they're using a, a, yep. a laptop or if they're using a computer. That's their. That's what they would consider uh, a backup. A well, few wait. Ways. So let's start from the from the absolute. Let's say you're recording a track, vocal track. The, first of all, never, ever, ever, ever delete a take. I don't care if you do it 50 times, I never delete them until I'm done. Now, that's strange because sometimes I would I, say to you, delete this, I it sucks. I don't care because not only, you know, I remember very specific things that happened in specific takes. And I'm not saying that we went and chopped it up and used little bits, you know, here and there we did that. But you never know, right? You never know if, when you're going to need something. And frankly, yes, it does get a little bit of cumbersome if you have so much stuff. You do 50 times and you, you pop that open, you see 50 takes, you're like, I, I, I can't even tell the difference between these. But the point is that that's the most simplest of, of things, right? Okay. Keeping takes. When you get to the technology part, though, um, I mean, if you're using a Mac, 
obviously make sure time machine is working. Oh. Or if you're using Windows, what's the Windows equivalent of time machine? Like oh, something. Is it Windows equivalent of time machine? Oh, 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 we're gonna get into a Windows Apple debate. Don't start. Oh shh. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Uh, I'm have... not exactly. I'm not a Mac person, so I'm not exactly sure what time machine actually does. F fair enough. Time, time machine basically just you know backs it up every hour. Um, to a, an external drive. Oh, okay. So and you can Windows... go in and you can basically just go in and say open time machine and then you, you know, enter this wonderful world of the past and you go back to the dawn of time, you know, and go. Now, this is great, but problem is it's only once an hour. I would, oh. I would actually go and force a separate backup to a separate drive maybe every five minutes. I'd have it automated, but I was so paranoid about losing anything uh, because... Like you said, I mean, not only does it work, but it's just, it's a point in time that you can't get back if something happens, and to lose it because of technology nowadays is unacceptable, in my opinion. So, multiple backups, it's worth it to spend a couple hundred dollars and get some external drives, and there's all sorts of utilities you could use, be it Windows, Mac, whatever you guys are using. Right, for Windows, it's the same thing. We don't have a, we don't have a uh, time machine backup, but we do have a backup um, utility in Windows, which is probably not very great yeah but there are third-party uh, backup utilities that do just as well and they, they'll they'll back up to any sort of uh, external device that you sure might have. now that's your your second line of defense the third is when you're done for the night ship it off to the internet somewhere on a Dropbox you know okay. uh, because not only is that great for sharing between us like the first thing right. I would do at, at the end of the night is I would dump the, the, the burned version into Billy's Dropbox. Right, so that I can listen to it. So he can listen to it before he even like puts his car in drive. Right. <laughs> yes, the shit's exactly. on his radio, right? And then like five minutes Boom, later, I'm I'm calling, the phone. two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh my God. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> so so the, the nice thing about working with stuff today is you don't really have a lot of the, you know, a lot of the things that were problematic back in the day, right? Technology is always going to screw up, right? Mm -hmm. But there's things that you can do, and, and I, you know, not to get into all the details of this uh, in, in the span of 10 minutes, but do your homework after you get your environment set up. Um, there, there's all sorts of things. Like, for example, I used to record Billy with two mics even at some time. You would never uh -huh. notice it was there, but it was right above on, you. Right. Was and cool. that is the ultimate in paranoia, right? Uh, you know. Well, for me, it wasn't. I thought it was two mics. I thought, yeah. Ooh, I'm getting... <laughs> This sound coming from above my head, I, and this it, sound coming from completely different. Are, now are I know you, it's, you it's could actually, use it for that too, right? Just just so we can blend two vi different video sources, you can blend two different audio sources. Here's a creative tip. But that right? wasn't the reason you were doing that. No, it was. Uh, that's new for me because I, that's what I. That's yeah. really what I thought. I thought you were doing it to get a specific sort of warm sound coming from. It's true, right? You can you can use things to your advantage, right? But. You know, like I said, just 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 as I'm using Dropbox to back up, it's also a distribution mechanism, so we can stay in sync. Just as I'm using two microphones, I could use it creatively, or I could use it in case something screws up. So the point is, make the best use of, of your resources you have, um, and you know, seek out help if you're not technically savvy, uh, especially yeah, yeah. if you're a singer, right? I mean, you yeah, because sing, you know, you know, sometimes singers don't necessarily know what to do. They're not really, you know, gotta look this way. Sometimes singers really don't know what to do because they really are just singers. They they create art. They they are not technical. So yeah. if you're if you if you don't have any technical knowledge, that's not bad. If you no, just don't, uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of either. I mean, you know, it, it, it's it's very um, second nature to have an iPhone in your hands or, or a Droid. Yeah, you know, but guess what? I mean, you know that that doesn't mean that you've got enough savvy to when you get to a studio situation right. you're going to be be able to do the things that I discussed it's not that hard it's just the point is make the effort to do it and protect your work yes and, and saying saying that I think um, if you are going to a studio right and you're working with someone that you're not really familiar with I think it's great to make sure you find out from them mm. what their backups are what type of backups they have what they yeah. because you know they could have an issue and never really tell you about it. I don't know. I, I, well, there's one way to find out about it. Well, <laughs> Where's my take? Right, right. right? Okay. <laughs> okay, true. I think you just need to know their backups. Make sure they have backups. If they, <laughs> they tell you, well, you know, I've never really had a problem, so I don't really back up anything. Probably not the right producer to use. Yeah, but you know what? Someplace else. The other thing I will say that's a relatively new problem uh, is the lack of physical media. 
Meaning, yeah. right? There's nothing. Right. I, I mean, who actually burns their takes to a CD anymore when mm -hmm. you're done? Not too many people. And I gotta admit, neither did I. But, you know, that is another way that you could potentially... At least keep what you... Exactly. I mean, if you start with some older equipment, get yourself a batch of cheap ass CDs, you know, DVDs, mm -hmm. whatever, and burn your stuff and leave them in your car or leave them somewhere else, your backup, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. Because you never know. I mean, you know, God forbid anything really happens, you know, it's your house or where you record. Right. I mean, these are the type of things that, you know, it's just, you, you can sleep better at night. Right. You can also put it in a, a lockbox. You know, some people have lockboxes at, yeah. at the bank or I guess at... at well, that... At, yeah, I mean, you can always if they're big enough, you can always put them in there. Stick them in there. I used to actually do that. You put your CD in your lockbox. I did. I did when I when I when I first uh, the very first CD I did, um, I had it in, in huh? because he used to give them to me, right? Yeah. And I was so you know, I think at that time it was not easy to make CDs. Right. So it was expensive, it was expensive to make CDs and yep. get them. So I knew as a as a person. I'm not really, I'm very careless with stuff. I would throw stuff around. So I actually took oh, it. Oh shit, what happened? Something, something. something just happened. <laughs> Look at, I literally, uh, stop. Uh, was that? It's probably this one, right? Oh, is it? Did it really? Yeah. <laughs> so this one is still going? It is. Oh, very good. Very good. good. Oh yeah, my good. God. So, I mean, see, you couldn't plan that. <laughs> right, right there, right. Our, our main cam just crapped. I, I guess <laughs> did it, something. It, 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 well, it was, out, it was almost out of power. It so, was almost out of power. So it probably went out. Whose fault is that? You can be honest. Mine? <laughs> it's my goddamn camera. Oh, we'll see you next week. See you next week. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. just, just before we go, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you watch us on. Uh, watch us. Uh, subscribe to our channel here. Uh, subscribe to. Um, subscribe to uh, uh, Twitter, uh, and, Instagram. Uh, YouTube, um, Instagram, and Periscope, and anything else. And we are not responsible for what happens to the band. Right, 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 right. Thank you so much. See ya.